What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So today we're going to look at clothing. Clothing that I have found at either thrift stores or the Goodwill bins listed on eBay and Poshmark and sold for profit. Alright, so like I said, we're going to go over some clothing. I love selling clothing. I can get them very cheap, typically at the bins. It's less than a dollar per item. It goes by weight there, which is $1.89 per pound. And a local thrift store of mine always has good clothes and sells them at a dollar. All clothes, all the time. So my bike cost is very low. So I'm going to pop them up on the screen, tell you where I got them, what I paid for them, how long it took to sell, what they sold for, and the approximate net profit. Your bike cost is obviously going to be different than mine. So you really want to pay attention to what the item is, the brands, and what it's selling for. Alright, so let's get started with some pants. The first pair up is a pair of Levi 560s. I got these at a local thrift store for $1. They took one week to sell. Took an offer on Poshmark of $28. And it gave me a net of about $21. These are a pretty large size. They're like 54 by 30. And if you see those larger, you know, out of the ordinary type of sizes, you want to get them because they're going to sell quick and there's really not a lot of them out there. Next up is a pair of Armani. The style is called J21. Now Armani, when you hear that name, you think you know, high end, but some of the stuff is not so much. So this was a pair of Armani J21s that I found at a local thrift store for $1. They sold in about one month for $24.75 plus $8 shipping and netted approximately $19. And for all my jeans, I just do a threefold, and so they fit nicely into a padded flat rate envelope. Here we have another pair of jeans by Polo Ralph Lauren. This was in a bright yellow. Again, something different, not ordinary, than your you know, typical blue jean. So whenever I see colors, I've sold purple ones, like a, you know, like a teal blue, and these are yellow, go for them. So I picked these up again at the same local thrift store for $1. They sold in one week for $28.75 plus $9 shipping and netted approximately $24. Alright, let's look at some shirts. This was a vintage Miami Dolphins t-shirt slash jersey shirt. It wasn't a jersey. Um, got this at the Google bins. By a weight, it probably cost me about a dollar. Took three months to sell. Sold for $16.75 plus $4 shipping and netted approximately $13. There's another shirt I found at the Google Bins, Ed Hardy. I had front and back pretty much all over print graphics. Some people might say this brand is kind of outdated, but there's still people that buy them. And I paid about a dollar, probably a little less than this, but we'll say a dollar at the Google Bins. It took five days to sell. $17.75 plus four shipping, and that is approximately $14. And for t-shirts, I just fold them up put them in a clear poly bag, and then put them into a vinyl poly bag. Here's a good brand new Go Boss. This was like a polo shirt in the Brazilian colors. I found this at a local thrift store for $1. It took about six months to sell. Sold for $15.75 plus four shipping, and netted about $12. Here's a great brand to look for, Peter Millar. They have different lines, you could say. The Summer Comfort is a little better. This was just a plain, regular Peter Millar, kind of like a cotton polo, real plain, no embroidery or anything, in a peach color. Paid $1 for it at a local thrift store. Took 10 days to sell for $16.75 plus four shipping, and netted it roughly $13. Okay, here's a good brand, Banana Republic. These type of shirts I like to do lots of, and that's what I did. I found these at the local thrift. There was actually four, all the same size, which is perfect, and they were just in different patterns. So they were a dollar each. I spent four dollars for four shirts. I made two separate lots. I had a buyer message me. I think it was in one of my previous videos where I talked about how to reply with offers. And he offered to buy both of them. We made a deal. $28 for the four shirts plus $10 shipping. Took about two months to sell and netted roughly $21. Okay, here's the RVCA, Ruka is the brand, kind of like a skateboard type uh, brand you could say. This was a flannel shirt, found this at the local thrift for $1, took three weeks to sell, $17.75 plus four shipping, and netted roughly $14. 
Okay, this was an L.L. Bean corduroy with jacket shirt with a flannel lining. Paid $2 for the set The bins, went by weight. It was a little over a pound. Took two weeks to sell for $28.75 plus $10 shipping and netted approximately $24. This was a vintage pro player pullover windbreaker type jacket for the Cleveland Indians. Paid $1 for this at a local thrift. Took about 10 months to sell. This one took a long time. Paid, sold for $18.75 plus $8 shipping and I netted $14. Okay, here was a Japanese embroidered robe that I found at the Goodwill bins. So I'm going to say I paid about $2 because it was around a pound. Took a one week to sell. $32.75 plus $10 shipping and netted roughly $27. Okay, here's a women's shirt. I don't really do too much in women's. Uh, brand is Free People. It was like a really, really like almost see-through lightweight blouse shirt, whatever you want to call it. Found this at the Goodwill bins. Probably cost me 25 cents it was so light. But I'll say 50 cents. Took one week to sell for $17.75 plus four shipping and netted roughly $15. Here's a good brand to look for, Scully. They make Western wear, $2 at the Google bins. This was really nice, had the guitars embroidered, and on the back it had a pink Cadillac. It was really cool, and it was in excellent shape. It took six days to sell, sold for $39.75 plus seven shipping, and I netted roughly $32. Okay, this was in one of my recent videos. I don't even know if I put that one out yet or not, but I, where I get the Goodwill bins, I found like seven Garneau cycling jerseys brand new with tag and I listed them and this one sold right away this was the first one so I and I remember I calculated three of them weighed a pound so I figured out I paid about 70 cents per jersey this one sold in one day for $16.75 plus four shipping and I netted about $13 and now that's a good deal because I bought seven and it cost me roughly five bucks for all seven and the first one I netted 13 so I got my money back, plus about $7, $8, and I still got six jerseys left. Here was a pretty unique shirt I found at the Goodwill Bins. The brand is called Imaginary Foundation. They kind of make like these really, I guess like eclectic type weird pattern shirts. This was a front and back. Just a guy with a briefcase and an umbrella. And I paid about a dollar for this. It sold in two days for $13.75 plus four ship. And at roughly $10. And lastly, here is a vintage Ballantine is the brand. It was a Scottish cashmere button-down cardigan sweater. Found this at the Goodwill bins. Paid roughly $2 by weight. It sold in four days. Took an offer on Poshmark of $22. And I netted $15. Alright, so out of these 17 items, my total buy cost $23. After recouping my buy cost, and covering all fees, I netted approximately $300. Nine sold within under a week. Four took between a week and a month. And four took longer than a month. So that's going to wrap this one up. Hopefully you saw some good brands to look for when you're out thrifting. And make yourself some money. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.